Hey guys, got a short Live Arena video for you because some people were saying they wanted to see more Live Arena from me. All right, this is going to be my first time using Marius in Live Arena, so we'll see how well he does. Okay, all stone skin. That's pretty interesting. And I really like that Marius actually um, attacks whenever his turn meter gets pushed back. That's pretty cool. Uh, keep in mind, Marius is in gear, not fully ascended. I haven't optimized him yet, so... Just keep that in mind. Keep your expectations for this Marius a little low. He's not built yet, I should say. Oh, yeah. That's that's nasty. Marius just dropped dead like a... Wow. Okay, I, I need to work a lot with him. There's a lot I need to get going on with him. But, you know, we still have the godly Wukong. So maybe everything will work out just fine. We'll see. Ah. That AOE kind of messed me up there. But okay. And uh, let's get rid of Arbiter. This is an issue here. Ragash. Hmm. Should I... Let's see if we can take everything. And uh, can we get rid of Ragash? Oh no, he's too tanky for us. I should have hit the A A1. Maybe this? Yeah? Hey, Wukong. Wukong does it. Sorry, Marius. You're not built yet. Alright, here we are going up against Wolfinger. I brought more to win this time because of this guy right here. And it seems like we've got locked out with Rodos. So what we're going to do is hope that we get an extra turn. Actually, let's do this. Let's transform and then hit the stun and see if we get lucky and then hit her again and then hit Duchess and maybe we get lucky. There you go. So Quintus is right there. I don't enjoy Live Arena, but I figured if Quintus is right there, might as well do it. Plus, you guys seem to like the Live Arena. I asked you guys what you guys wanted to see. You guys said more live arena and i get primal shards from doing live arena i was actually surprised how many i got uh, after doing live arena for quite some time for the marius missions i got marius and i still haven't built him yet like he's still sitting right here in some gear but not a lot of like he's not in the best gear yet oh god this couple i don't have a good counter do you guys have a good counter for ancora narcis because because i don't is um dear god what do i do i don't know all right, so I think my best bet is to just hope that I get lucky. And Korra is such a problem, uh, if I'm being completely honest with you guys. Uh, but uh, Lydia has her own set of issues too. So we're going to get uh, aiming down on on Lydia. I don't know what I'm going to do here because even if... like It's just not, it's just not happening, <laughs> basically. I'm not feeling it. Oh, I forgot about Narcisse. I avoid Narcisse, if I'm completely honest. I avoid Narcisse quite a bit if you're sitting here wondering what's going on with me don't listen to anything i give advice to um when it comes to anything pvp related because i pretty much suck at pvp so keep your expectations low take any advice that i might have with a grain of salt i basically cheesed my way to get up here all right let's start getting down on um UDK here. It's interesting that he doesn't, uh... Huh. I thought he would have- he would be tankier. Maybe he's not really built and he's kind of, and he's kind of just like a, a bait- bait, uh... pick. I like how he bumps all the way up whenever he dies. Oh, so this is good. He brought Lydia in not to try to make an issue out for me, but to, um... Make it so that if anybody gets revived, that I um, have to, uh, what do you call it, bring back Lydia instead, like the passive. I did not expect to win that. That's pleasant. All live arena battles go like this. You choose Armand's, Wukong, Arbiter, Tormin, if you see an Arbiter. He's got Makage. I think I remember reading that Marius has uh, some type of thing where he attacks if somebody changes forms 
uh, but I'm not sure. Whenever I see Siffy getting picked, I choose Rodos. Damn, he left Armand's in. He really didn't like the horse. Which again is interesting. Because to ban somebody over Armand's is crazy. At least for me. I don't do enough live arena to know. Wow, that's a fast Lydia. Although my Arbiter really isn't that fast to begin with. Damn, about to get ganked, bro. Shit. I should have picked Tormund for that last one as soon as I saw Lissandra. Yeah, I think my Arbiter is only going at like 360. She's really not that fast. Anytime I see UDK, I think that they're going to pick Rodos, so I pick Rodos first. I'm not making the same mistake like I did last time. I'm picking Tormund. And we're going to get rid of Cardiel here. All right, Armands, do your thing. All right, so we do get to go first. I'm going to go ahead and get rid of Ronda because Ronda is a freaking threat. Who is actually a really good counter against Wukong. Who am I kidding? That's not new news. Bro, take your turn already, Domingo. 7777. There we go. Give it to me. Armands. Man, everybody's saying Armand's is broken. What are you talking about? Armand's isn't broken. Here, we transform, make a turn happen, bring back Wukong, stun him. And then now we can work down UDK, hit him again, double hitter. Now Rodos is going to come through. Oh, not yet. Now Rodos is going to come through, take care of UDK, and then... Shazam. They gave me a mind. All right. So as always, we start off with um, Armand's. And I found a new combo that I actually really enjoy here. So I like... Oh, he chose Mikage. Okay. Well, I was going to say Mikage and Harima. <laughs> uh, another thing that I like to do, another combo, is Siffy Rodos. But I don't do it too soon because they choose UDK normally. So I do Georgid and... Uh, where is she? Shuzen, Mulan. And then for the next one here, I'm going to choose Siffy Rodos. And they left. Okay. Oh, we get a chest. What do we get? Come on. Give me something. All right. We got stone skin going on. Let's go ahead and boost ourselves. And let's give this to Georgid. Now we have to get rid of our mons first. And then we can get rid of Rodos. And then we'll have to hold off to get rid of... Um, Marishka, but for now, let's just place the... Well, here's the thing. If I place the stun, she's just going to remove it. So let's just try to remove this stone skin. And we do remove the stone skin. Now, if I want to, I can go ahead and place sleep with Sippy's A1. Nice. Iron Guts a pretty nice champion. We're going to put him to sleep. So we can't do anything. Let's go ahead and boost ourselves here. And we're going to hold off on killing Marishka. We're going to wait for Georgid to have another go around. Let's go ahead and actually we'll, we're going to save this. We're going to put her to sleep. Keep her asleep. Oh, I guess it doesn't work that way. Lock her out. Now, what I want to do is actually we might be able to do it. Let's do this. Revive. And then we can hit the uh, A2 here. There we go. I was worried that I would bring her back and Georgia wouldn't be able to hit hard enough. But then I remembered it to Georgia. All right. So if we boost turn meter, we should be good enough to give Rodos this. Now let's first get rid of you. And then we're going to get rid of Georgid. I was worried that I wouldn't be able to one shot Mikage because of negative affinity. So I didn't go straight for it. Hit the A3. Oh, hit the A2. I would have gone A3 to, to, to self-buff, but, you know, that works too. Let's hit the A3 and put you to sleep. Speed boost, turn meter control, and yep. I just realized I made a mistake. I only chose one damage dealer. <laughs> oh my god, guys. All right, let's see if I got this. Can I can I still make this happen? Let's see if this, this will still happen. All right, let's go ahead and put everybody's skills on cooldown. And we're going to Sheep Quintus. 
and we're going to go ahead and put some protection on Arbiter. Boost turn meter. He's probably like, oh my god, you're actually going to do this fight? Like, yeah. Yeah, this is happening. Alright, we're taking everybody's turn meter, placing the stun. And let's go ahead and hit the A2. Gonna go ahead and hit Quintus out of here. Hit UDK. Hit UDK again. Boost. We're going to Sheep Duchess for sure. Hit Wukong. Try to place that uh, decrease attack. Push back. Nope, not happening. Who are you trying to stun? Ah, okay. We're going to hold off on using the A2 from Armands. And we're going to place protection on Warlord here. Let's go ahead and bump this guy a little. And we're going to hold off on doing any turn meter control. Let's go ahead and hit UDK again. Now we're... Oh, he left! Why did he leave? Okay, one of my longtime subscribers gave me a pretty cool tip. He was like, if you're having trouble with um, Galathir, something that you can do is try to hit him with with um, Wukong's A2. And if it doesn't kill him, it sheeps him. Now, of course, we have Stone Skin, so it's not going to work out in our favor quite yet. But I think what we can do is just hope it works in our favor. I don't think I've ever met a Galathir in Stone Skin, so that's going to be a little bit interesting. Can I transform? Oh, yeah, I know that's an issue. Yeah, we're about to blow up here. Got no protection. Hit that A2. Yeah, no. <laughs> oh, fuck. All right, let's hope we get lucky this time around. Please don't lock me out. Oh, God. Okay. Now, one of the issues we have is Tormund, but I'm going to say let's just go ahead and do it. And let's take everybody's turn meter here. Okay, we're still safe. Uh, we can try sheeping somebody, but not quite yet. We're going to save this sheep for him. And let's hope this... Okay, cool. That was a nice kill. All right, I forgot how, uh, how well... And either we blood twin does so uh, okay i'll see you again later honestly how i made it this far i'm just never going to know you know you know part of it is just being extremely lucky and then the other part is just cheesing my way through everything like purposely dropping a2 purposely dropping so that i can get easier fights but i haven't been dropping uh here too often so this should be relatively um, a legit fight. Now we're going to get rid of Thor. That increased res coming from Siffy did us very well. This guy's got almost 5,000 live arena. That's crazy. Live arena points. Like, you have to really be doing live arena to get up that high. Oh, boy. I hope this guy's warlord is slow. And Makage, I hope she's slow. Because if not, we're in a... For, for a big, um, big problem here. Let's go ahead and hit, uh, well, let's hit Makage and hope we just get lucky. There we go. Ah, oh, Shuza, no. What? A high resist Hefrak? Bro, what is that? Or maybe it just got 3%ed, I don't know. Don't do it to me. Oh, I got Hefracked, damn. Don't sheep me, bro. Oh my god, if I get sheeped, fudge. <laughs> it just be like that, though, sometimes. There you go.
GG's bro, GG's. Honestly, some people have some crazy fast warlords, so uh, that's why I'm always kind of ambivalent when it comes to warlords. You just never know. But uh, we got a little lucky there, so um, let's try to break through that, but we already know how this is going to go. She's going to transform, hit the A2 probably. And we only really have to worry about Wukong, but once we use Anithwi to take care of Wukong, if we can just at least kill him with Anithwi, we should be good. Oh, that was a good move too. That was a really good move. Let's hit this triple three against Wukong, kill him. And from here, I think we can be safe enough to go on full auto. Let's just, ah, damn, this guy tried to bring in that mythical electric bird thing. I was not letting that happen. Now I know a lot of you guys said to put block buffs up and that should handle it, but I don't know. I'm just not going to risk it. I'm not, I'm not emotionally ready for that fight. Okay. So of course we have a pretty good chance of going first. Now I want to let Georgia go, but I need to take care of, actually let's, hmm. I'm not sure who to let go first. I think maybe we get Harima in and then take care of Armand's. Ah, no, that was a mistake. Well, at least we can hit the A2 here, AOE. So I think we might be in good condition. All right, so let's hit this so that we can get rid of that veil. Let's go ahead and control speed and turn meter and hit the A3 take care of that and we're still not in the clear yet now georgia does have his boost to attack we can still one shot